Good morning. In today's reading, we find Jeremiah is being persecuted because of his message. Even his friends are attacking him and abandoning him. It can be difficult to hear things we may not want to hear, and making a, making a change is difficult, especially when things are working already. Jeremiah and the disciples were entrusted with a message. He had confidence in God that his attackers would not prevail. The Lord was on his side. The Lord listens and hears the cries of the poor, just like Jeremiah. We were all entrusted with a message to give, and we can do it all. We need to lean on each other and the Lord. Good morning. Let us gather together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together today as one large family, we know that we are loved by God. And so knowing that his love is always in us and through us, we come to him today at this celebration of, of God's word and of the sacrament knowing that Christ heals us and is always with us. And so let us gather together, knowing that Christ's mercy is so incredibly powerful in our lives and hearts. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts, Lord of mercy. mercy. Came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord. And in your goodness, set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. I hear the whispers of many, terror on every side. Downs, let us downs them. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any mishap of mine. Perhaps we will be trapped, then we, be, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. 
but the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My pastors will stumble. They will not trump it. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me win witness the vengeance you take on them. For you, I have untrust, untrust, and trust my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Our response is, in my distress, I call upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my delivery. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, praise me, the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of nether world emished me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I call upon the Lord, and he cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry to him reached his ears. The Lord be with you. And with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory the Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scriptures cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes, because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, 
Believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. And many came to him and said, John performs no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Sacred Heart, uh, Easter isn't just a week, right? Well, a week in a couple days. So when, when Easter comes about, it means that summer is not too long behind it, right? Summer is coming when Easter is here. Uh, at least it's about, maybe about a month away. Uh, but what, what sort of sports happen in summertime? What sort of sports happen in summertime? What are some summertime sports? Summertime sport? Soccer? Yeah. Summertime sport? T-ball. T-ball? Yep. Summertime sport? Volleyball? You know, you can even play sand volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. Softball? Softball? Yeah. S- summer sport? Basketball. Basketball? You could always play basketball. Summer sport? Football? Football? Yeah, you can play all these sort of sports. Uh, well, well, one of the sports that I love in the summertime, um, playing, I guess, I played uh, Little League Baseball. Um, I'm not sure if any of you are in baseball or, or softball this summer, or t-ball. Uh, any of you doing baseball, softball, t-ball-ish this summer? Yeah, so I, I love doing it. I, was, I wasn't very, very good, but I, I had a blast doing it. Um, and so to practice for these, these events, you know, my brother and I, I had a brother, we'd, we'd toss baseballs back to each other. So toss, toss back. There we go. Yeah, thanks. Um, so we, we, we tossed baseballs back and, back and forth to each other all day long. Uh, not all day, but we, we eventually would get bored. You know, tossing baseballs all day is fun for the first 10 hours of the day, but after that you get kind of bored, right? So uh, there was this one day uh, we got into a competition, my brother and I. Like, we're going to see who can throw the, furthest, the, ba- the baseball the furthest. Well, we didn't want to lose baseball. We didn't want to cause that much damage if we hit something unexpected. So what did we do? We, we looked on the ground. And what do, you, what do you think we found on the ground to throw? What would you find on the ground to throw? Not a baseball. Something smaller than a baseball. Not, not a stick. Not a stick. Something a bit harder than a stick. A rock. A rock. Yeah. We, we, we picked up a rock off the ground. Oh, yeah. How far can we throw this rock? So, so we, had a, we had a giant building, like a barn almost. It was a machine shed. And we figured to ourselves, you know, who can throw the rock the furthest? If we can throw it over this machine shed, if we can throw it over this building, we're going to win. Now, the roof was covered in metal. Metal tin, right? So whenever a rock hit the roof, it had it ting. So it, when it hit the roof, it, it tinged. It made a little noise. So we knew, we knew that if, if, if we threw the rock over the barn and it tinged, we knew that we didn't make it all the way over and we had to try again until we got the rock all the way over. Well, myself being not that best at sports, I grabbed a rock and threw it a little bit too fast and I think I let go of the rock about like this as it was going straight to the... <laughs> to, to a window, to a window. Now, now, luckily, it didn't break the glass, but my dad was inside the building, so we knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> and what do you think I did when my, when my dad poked, his, poked his, his, his eyes out the window? Like, what's going on out there? What do you think I did? What do you think I did? Um, oh, it's okay. Well, what I did is I... I did, I did this, so my dad's looking out the window, and I, I sort of <laughs> did that. Sort of hid behind something so my, my dad wouldn't see I was there. I, I slithered away like a little snake or a little worm trying to get away from a, from a predator. I ran away that day. I was scared. I ran away. Well, 
In the gospel today, there are people that are throwing rocks again, but they're not doing a competition. They're wanting to throw rocks, not across a building, but they're wanting to throw rocks at, at Jesus. They're wanting to throw rocks at Jesus. That's not cool. That's not right. What did Jesus do? Did he, did, he, did he do what I did? Did he do what I did and hide away in the corner? No, he didn't. He didn't do that. Jesus, so these people wanted to throw rocks at Jesus because he was saying that he was God, right? He was saying that he was God, but they thought he can't be God. And Jesus told them, if, 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 uh, if you don't believe in me, believe in my works. So what sort of works did Jesus do? What sort of miracles did Jesus perform throughout his life? What sort of miracles did Jesus perform? Yeah, so he multiplied the loaves. So he had like five loaves and like five little fish. And he multiplied it thousands of times over. Yeah, what did he do? He brought someone back to life. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, he cured someone's eyesight. That's pretty crazy. Jesus can do that. What did Jesus do too? He turned water into wine. Water into wine is the very first miracle he ever did. What sort of other miracles did Jesus perform? Yeah. Um, he made the seas like calm down. They... Yeah, yeah. So the water was rocking the boat. The water was rocking the boat, so Jesus calmed the storm, and uh, everyone was happy. Do you, know what, do you know what miracles Jesus did, too? Do you know the mar- the miracle? Um. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Do you know what the miracle? Oh, he helped someone. He healed someone. Definitely, he did. He did heal someone. Yeah, Jesus healed a lot of people. He not only uh, healed people who were broken, who were injured, but um, he healed the, the. He healed people who were deaf. He healed healed people's ears for sure. Yeah. So there's there's many different things. So so just think about all the good things Jesus did. Right? He did a lot of miracles. Right? This guy, for three years straight, he was active in ministry. He did a bunch of work, miracles. So he said, he's, these people were trying to stone him, right? Back to the story. And Jesus said, if you don't believe me, believe in these miracles. Believe in them. Believe in them. Um, so, uh, that's pretty convincing what he endured um, and what he did throughout his life. But even more, even more amazing than all the miracles you just heard about is, is this miracle right here we're going to be celebrating uh, in, a, in a week from now. So we remember this, right? Jesus' crucifixion. Jesus died for us, right? But what happened after Jesus died? What happened, what happened after Jesus died? Do you know what happened? He rose from the dead, yeah. He rose from the dead. That's what we celebrate over Easter. But do you know what, what we celebrate in the weeks leading up, the week leading up to Easter? Do you know what the week is called next week, starting this Sunday? Do you know what this week is called? It's so holy, it's called... Do you know what it's called? It's so holy, this week is called... Oh, the, the, the whole week, the whole week. It's so holy, this week is called... Holy Week. Holy week. Yeah, Holy Week. <laughs> this week is so holy, it's called Holy Week. And it starts on Palm Sunday. We have some, some palms out here. Uh, so Jesus is entering into Jerusalem, and people lay out palms for him. So this Sunday, if you come to church, you'll see palms in the back um, for you to take and for you to display. Um, we'll probably have some left over. We bought extra palms this year. Uh, so, so we have lots of palms to, to hand out uh, this Sunday. Then, then we have uh, Holy Thursday. Do you know what happens on Holy Thursday? Do you know what happens? Last Supper, yeah. The Last Supper happens, and Jesus washes his disciples' feet. So we, we take off our, our shoes. I don't know if you've seen me, my socks before, but I'm going to fall over because I can't balance. Uh, so we celebrate Holy Thursday. Uh, then, we, then we do, uh, what's on Friday? What happened on Friday? Do you know what happened on Friday? I might be, be standing by it. He died. The cross. It's Good Friday. And then what happens on Saturday, Saturday evening, and Sunday? Do you know what happens on Saturday evening and Sunday? He rose from the dead. So if we can't believe in Jesus because he is, he calls himself the Son of God, believe in his works. Believe in his works. That's what Jesus is saying. 
so if you're if you're like me and you and you if you're like these people and you wanted to throw rocks at people, um, we know that's not right. We should never do that. But uh, let us always believe in Jesus and let us get ready for Holy Week. No matter if you see that picture in the back, again, I talked about at the beginning of Lent, you know, those footprints. Sometimes our footprints are, are always facing on our path towards Jesus. Sometimes, sometimes our footprint may be way off the course. Maybe a maybe footprint is 10 feet away from the path. But wherever our path is in life, wherever we are in that path, uh, may we always try to draw, walk a little bit closer to Jesus uh, during this Holy Week that's coming up. And I would invite us to stand for intercessions. And Sacred Heart, as we turn to God in our prayer, in our needs, we trust and we know that he hears and answers all of our concerns. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We lift before you, O oh God, our brothers and sisters preparing for the Easter sacraments and this entire assembly who seeks renewal in our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the power of your word change our lives and invigorate our spirits. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Free us from any falsehood and evil and create in all of us a clean heart, a renewal, a renewed vision, a deepened sense of your indwelling holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we listen to the gospel today, we ask you that you give us the grace to not judge others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Help us, the, the Lord, to acknowledge and to ask forgiveness for our own faults. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, comfort all who are suffering illness or facing difficulties in our parish. Give them the strength or courage they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask today that you heal the sick, give faith to those who doubt, and hope to those who are discouraged or feel alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we give consolation to all those who face life-threatening situations. For those who grieve, we ask for your comfort. Lord, hear our prayer. And today we also pray for uh, Toby and Gert Morfeld and for Ann Schulte. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Loving Father, we turn to you today in our, in our joy and in our weakness, knowing that you will hear and answer all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And I would invite us to be seated as we prepare our altar and bring forward the gifts.
And I would invite us to stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord's Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, For through this saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. I would now invite us to stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In sacred heart, let us offer each other a sign of peace. to kneel. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
in Sacred Heart, I would invite us to, to uh, be seated, to be seated. As you are aware, today is April birthdays. We celebrate April birthdays today, I do believe, yes, yes. Uh, so anyone that has April birthday, uh, please come forward. Yeah, just invite you to the top step. April birthdays, any in the, any adults have April birthdays? Two, three, three, one, two, three. Oh, and, oh, Mr. Spain and, and uh, Ms. Wydell, too. So five, five uh, adult birthdays, April birthdays today. I'm not going to make you come forward, but, uh, but know of our best wishes for your birthday as well. It's April birthdays, so remember what to do. You say your name. Uh, it's the hardest question, your name. Um, and then how old you are. Uh, then maybe uh, what age you are. And when's your birthday? When's your birthday? So. How old are you, Michael? Five. Five? And what grade are you in? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. And when's your birthday? April 21st. April 21st. Thank you. Great job, guys. Uh, so let us, again, what we do, we extend our hands in blessing of our birthday fellows. And we sing the song, right? May the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Happy birthday, guys! Happy birthday! So now I would invite us to stand for our closing prayer. And let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. And may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Just a reminder, I forgot to even mention, um, uh, you know, this, this Tuesday, our, our sixth graders are going to be leading Stations of the Cross um, uh, here in church Tuesday evening after, after the 5.30 Mass. So 6 o'clock Tuesday evening, uh, you're welcome to come back, the, the adults, um, and, uh, and to experience the Stations of the Cross. They're doing a shadow stations this year. So it's going to be something you probably have never seen before. So it's going to be so cool. Uh, so Tuesday at 6 o'clock. But I know there's, uh, there's also another showing as well. So you guys will see it uh, surprise next week for the, for the kids. But uh, if you can make it for the adults, Tuesday at 6 o'clock, you're very welcome to come. Uh, yeah, The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Oh, and one more thing. I keep on forgetting. Uh, this Saturday is our, is our Heart of Gold. Um, it's our huge fundraiser. It's going to be so incredibly fun. All of you guys have made projects, right, for all these things? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so so I, I looked over all the things. They've been posting on Facebook. They've been so incredibly cool. Um, so please come this Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, I think it is, 6, 5, 5.15, 5.15. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, so please come this Saturday evening. It's at the Timber Center. Um, so right next to the bowling alley, 
Uh, so please come this Saturday uh, to experience a great meal um, at a fabulous time and lots of, lots of good items up for, for, up for auction that evening. Uh, and, and you can purchase tickets at the door, so if you haven't yet purchased tickets, you're still welcome to come. You're still welcome to come. Okay, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life.